Alayhi shafati ya Rasul Kareem, Fahati Allah, Ati Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum. And always a reminder from myself, Ana Abdul Ajisu, Da'ifu, Miskinu, Zalimu, Jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And Alhamdulillah Allah gives for us that out of 12 months, four of them are holy for Allah That four of them have a immense reality and secret and now we're entering into that month inshaAllah, the month of Zul Qida and the ninth power to the eleventh month opening the secret of eleven and the Divine the mirror opening the reality of nine times eleven being ninety-nine. The ninety-ninth name of Allah al-Sabur, Sabr and Patience. The 99th name of Sayyidina Muhammad from Dalal Khirat is Nabi Mustafa and the chosen one, the fragrant and beautific one. The 99th surah, Surat al Zalzala, that these realities and this dress, the hijab of this month, Subhana Mandul Mulki wa Malakut, glory be to the Lord over the heavenly and earthly kingdoms. And we pray that Allah give us its realities and its dress. Mm-hmm. And we said that every month Qur'an, Holy Qur'an is dressing this dunya. That from Allah's Divinely speech is commanding everything that happens upon this creation and this is the reality of the month of eleven. The reality of the month of Zalzala means earthquake and Surat al-Zalzala means that this is the month in which Allah make the earth to quake, shake the earth all over the earth that the Qur'an is moving the earth. And already uh, eclipse came with the call the eye of God that when the sun light is being blocked out and the earth and the moon line up to cover that sun. They used to call it as like an eye looking upon the earth and these are the signs of difficulty and calamity. And these are the times in which Sayyidina Muhammad would go into sujood and pray that, Ya Rabbi whatever difficulty coming that give us your sanctuary that protect us and guard us from your anger. And whatever punishment that you want to bring upon this earth, Ya Rabbi guard us. That when that happening in the eleventh month then for us is a reminder Allah going to shake everything. It's not only the people of Marifah that Allah love them particularly but Allah is just and that guidance comes for all of creation. Then the people of Marifah are teaching Oh, this is the month of Zalzala in which Allah describes in Surat al Zalzala that what she has hidden within her, she will bring it out. Means that this reality within will be coming out by the reality of quaking and shaking and difficulty in life. Just like the mother who has a child, the continuous quaking, what they call contractions. The earth is in a continuous contraction. And then Allah then describing, by those contractions what's hidden inside will begin to appear. For Marifa, it's a month in which 12 months we're moving to the reality. The ninth month of Ramadan destroyed all the bad character. The tenth month brings all of the blessings of being thrown into the oceans of the Divine where if you be nothing the one will appear. If you're too much of a one nothing appears. You see only the nukht where Allah just said, they look and now my kids come and describe this YouTube, that YouTube, this philosophy, that philosophy all from the people of the one that their whole life is about themselves, their, their craziness and they see nothing but a nothingness, a dot. I said, no our teaching is different. Make yourself to be the dot and you'll see the one of everything. You want power? Listen to our way. 
Why would you take power from a, a, a nobody person that has no power themselves? The real power is get it from the master, from the, the one whom owns everything. You want rizq, why you have to beg other people for your rizq? Why you don't go straight to the one whom writes the checks? Whatever it you want, you're, you're going to the wrong person who has nothing to give you, they're empty shells themselves. So this whole marifa is to teach us how to reach to that reality, be nothing. So they took us into this ocean of be nothing and the one will begin to appear. If that one begins to appear becomes your hearing, becomes your seeing, becomes your teaching, whatever is meant for you will come to you, whatever is going to harm you will be pushed away from you, that's the source of power. They're not wasting their time trying to go to here and there and get from this and that when that one can't even help themselves. It's all about reaching to Allah and they give the whole secret of how to reach to Allah How are you going to reach to Allah Let's go to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad mahi. He's the one mimha mahi, he's going to crush you. That's the great annihilator, that's the love. People are, are misinterpreting the teaching as if you're making a shariq. No, no crazy, this is the one whom destroys you, he's not making you partner with anything. He's going to come and destroy you, make a fertilizer out of you, make you into nothing. Mahi dunub, the great annihilator, the one whom is the black hole for all universes. Anything that approaches the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad will be laid to dust, nothing. And that's beatific, that's not something bad. That's when Sayyidina Musa said, I want to see you Ya Rabbi and Allah reply, we'll show you our signs. Who appeared? The great annihilator and what he ah like dust. But the presence of the beatific light and reality of Sayyidina Muhammad not the one who makes shariq but the one whom annihilate you to be nothing, nothing. Nothing to be left of you so that you are complete nuq. And at that time Allah said, now this person has surrendered because I gave them a will, I gave them a choice. They have returned their will and choice to me, I made them to be qashiya and dust and dead, powder. At that time Allah says, now revive yourself. That's the fana and baqa. That when the servant has been completely annihilated, their reality brought into a nothingness, then the real power appears and now says, you're on, Divinely light dressing you, my hearing dressing you, my seeing dressing you, my breath breathing through you, your hands, my hands, your feet moving with my will, all of that, that's on, that's power. That's the one when Allah want to dress that servant. From that ocean of nothingness opens the month, Zul Qidah means the one will begin to dress the one, dress them with power. What hidden within you I'm going to dress you with so that you become a reflection of my one. So then the zilzila opens the reality of eleven. The eleven in which the one of Allah La ilaha illallah is going to dress your Muhammadun Rasulullah That's the perfect tawheed. So if you're in this love of Muhammadun Rasulullah then what Allah is going to do? I'm going to activate your Muhammadan light. I'm going to activate your Muhammadan reality and dress you from that reflection. And each year it's a different amount, I give you a little bit more of my hearing and then can you hear me? Can you hear your consciousness? Can you hear the, the thoughts of other people? Sitting with my kids trying to go over that, so what are you talking about you can hear other people? Say, so you can't? Don't you ever get an intuition when someone's talking to you and you're hearing something different than what their lips are saying? Your heart if you tune it in, their lips can say, oh they won't, 
but your heart is picking up and hearing something different because there's something behind a speech, every sense has two. You can hear with physical ears but if Allah opens you can hear with your spiritual ears. But you begin to hear really what somebody's saying, really what they want, not what they say because they may be under a deception of their tongue and they may not be in control of their tongue. But when Allah wants to open hearing, He gives the ability of the hearing to understand and hear through their soul. That when they hear through their soul and not only see through their physical eyes but they can close their eyes and concentrate and begin to see with your eyes. And they know that in science that you have a particle and you have a wave in light. But this world is so fixated with only the particle and they see everything as solid. So I said, then sit out somewhere and look at a power line and you see a, a nice strong power line and then you stare at the power line, squint your eyes a little bit so that you narrow your frame of view because too much you're focusing on too many things. Look at this one line, this one power line, you sit in a bench, find the place where you can see a power line. Stare, breathe and just narrow your eyes, shorten your eye vision so you're cutting out your scenery just so that you see the line. What happens now? You can see the line moving, moving because that's a waveform. Everything has two realities, it has a fixed particle and it has a wave. We're too busy to see the waveform because we take everything by its first vision and go. But those whom are trained said that, look, just stare at it, gaze at it, you begin to see it's rolling. Mm -hmm. You can see even the horizon of the grass moving. If you stare at a location and narrow your focus down, you can see things are moving, everything has a wave format and in its wave it's moving. So it means Allah want to open the eyes that don't just think your physical eyes, don't think from your physical ears. These are all the realities Allah want to open from His Divinely One upon the One of the servant. Once they surrender themselves, lower themselves, destroy the bad characteristics, Allah that hadith of Qudsi, I will be, means I'm going to dress the servant with My Divinely lights, My Divinely realities and their breath not from a dunya breath, their breath from Divinely oceans of Qudra and power. That's why Qarm al-Sharif, that's why you're celebrating our beloved Qadari brothers Qarm al-Sharif on the 11th and they don't know why they do it on the 11th, they say the 11th is the time to do it. No, it's because uh, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Ladd Sallallahu Siru represents Qadari, represents the oceans of power that Allah dress and that's an ocean that all whom Allah dress from Laylatul Qadr, make them to be every day Qadri. Why? Because they symbolize the eleven and they're also known as Ulul Albab because the eleven means that they're the mirror of the one. They, they carry the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah wasallam. What was that from this? 12 months of teaching Zulfiqar. When Prophet got the Zulfiqar it was a ceremony that, I am this reality and I'm giving to you to Imam Ali Your reality is to hold the gate that in the spiritual realm you take off all of the th things that are not necessary to reach that reality. The servant can't come with their faculty of their head, they have to come with their spiritual head, their spiritual understanding, they have to open their heart. So the passing of the Zulfiqar was the immense reality that, you're, you're the babuhum, I'm the city of knowledges and you're its gatekeeper. I'm giving you the secret of Lam Alif, you're the custodian of the Lam Alif, so who hold the Lam Alif? Because at the bottom is a who, the who, who holds the lam alif, <laughs> exactly, who. So then he raises these servants 
to be the people of who? Mm -hmm. Imam Ali comes and this is from his secret that, I've been ordered to dress you from this Lam Alif. I've been ordered with my Zulfiqar, it's an eternal reality. That's why it was so fierce in dunya. But it's, it's, it's an eternal reality that my soul is eternally responsible for taking your oppressor off of you. And what is your oppressor? Is your head. Take the oppression of your head away and open your heart. I'm going to fill you with the realities and the knowledges of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah But you have to be from the people of who? That their hidayat and their guidance is the holy hadith that we describe. That their guidance, they're guided servants. They don't guide from book, they don't guide in fitna, they don't guide with lies. But they're guides of love and muhabbat. And Allah open their hearing, open their seeing, open their hands, open their breath, open their feet to move on the qadam of the Siddiqs, qadam al haqq, qadam al Siddiq. And they are muqaddams, they are the ones whom took the path of realities. So Imam Ali builds them to be from the who men. Dunya is human but they're fake ones. What Allah really wants are the who men whom they are who, they're filled with guidance and love, their character is love and muhabbat. And they are rijal, they are the real men of the Divinely Presence in which with their actions and deeds they do good and they try their best not to harm anything or anyone. Means these are immense realities, Garam sharif is not just one day, it's our whole life understanding to raise ourselves to be from the reality of the One, to be our, from the reality of, of Qadri and Qadr power, to be dressed by the oceans of power, to be dressed by the oceans of reality and to receive the madad of these immense awliyaullah that we're being dressed by these lights, blessed by these lights, all of these realities and characteristics. So no doubt then this is a month in which Allah going to shake it, right? How are you going to bring out such an immense secret? It's like an oyster, you, you got to crack the, this hard shell otherwise you can never get the pearl. Human nature is to keep the pearl hidden and not want to do anything. And Allah said, no, once we start to shake because he's, he's just, if I shake this earth everybody remembers God. You shake it and they're immediately saying, oh God help me. I said, I didn't think you believed in God. <laughs> but you do when in the earth is shaking <laughs> and you have to jump out your window and grab your shoes for an emergency because Allah loves His creation. That this is a month I want your reality to come out. Don't, don't be stuck with the, the that it, you're going to keep it inside like an oyster forever because if you don't take the oyster out it actually rots the pearl and becomes nothing. There's only a point of time in which it's precious. If it just sort of lie in there and become cryptic and die in there, the secret never came out, the pearl never shined. So Allah just say, you can, can sit on this like a chicken on an egg, this reality has to come out, has to blossom. And only through these testings and difficulties and sadnesses and all that the earth is going through, these realities can shine and come forth. We pray that Allah give us a life in which to see these realities, be dressed by these realities, blessed by these realities and what did we say? Through that crushing Allah dressing with these beatific names as sabur. So that's why on all the training the sabr and to be dressed by sifat of sabur, the one whom Allah when He dressed them put how all these are like a tasbih these realities. They were talking about the Divinely Presence wants to raise the servant up from nothingness and begin slowly each year to dress them from a one, I dress you a little bit more with your hearing, I dress you a little bit more with your seeing. It doesn't come all at once, you don't go zero to five hundred miles an hour but every year Allah dress the servant with more and see if they can be capable and handle. And as He's dressing them, teaching them have sabr. 
have patience, your life will be through many different tests. If you have sabr and patience means don't expect anything from anyone. Don't expect anything from anyone, your expectation is false and from you and it's not from what Allah may be wanted from someone. What we put on to people as our expectation, that servant is a servant of Allah playing by Allah's rules not mine. And I'm not here to manipulate what Allah wants but I'm here to submit to what Allah wants. So when the quaking is happening at the same time Allah dressing with sabr. If we can withstand the quaking Allah's promise is then now the sabr is dressing you from these realities. And as a result of the immense reality of sabr, what's the name of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mustafa is its key. The chosen one will begin to dress you with the beatific lights of Nabi Mustafa. Ya Mustafa, ya why are they singing those Dinat Sharif? Because that key is coming. Allah. If you have sabr, its reality can only open with the key of Nabi Mustafa If that key enters in then your, your sabr and dress from Allah is the beatific lights and dress of Sayyidina Muhammad and you become sabreen. Those whom are patient in Allah's way. Their life is like a tornado but they seem to be very good in the middle of it because there's peace and calm in the middle. The whole world may see your life like a tornado but <laughs> for them in the center <laughs> is very peaceful. Because Allah and Nabi Mustafa is dressing from these beatific lights. So it means everything in this way of Arafeen is immense secret like a video game. You look to the secrets of the month and you see this surah how it's going to dress this earth, you wait tonight it's coming in tonight. That's why the tajalli at the Maghrib time that these immense lights are coming in, this earth going to start having earthquakes everywhere and everyone testing and, and shaking within their being. At the same time Allah is now giving the honour of whom are these sabreen? Is there anyone out there that wants to achieve sabr and patience, be patient with your bad character, be patient with all these, these things that are not pleasing to Allah Allah want to give you an immense reward like a military that here's your badge of sabr and that you are entering now into the oceans of sabreen. Those whom Allah dress with sabur. Means they've been dressed with all of Allah's 99 beatific names because that's the key for all of them. If they achieve sabr, of course Allah is going to dress them from Rahman and Raheem and Kareem. And that's why you see them bountiful and Allah's grace is upon them because they achieve the station of sabr. And they keep trying to achieve higher ranks of sabr and patience and patience. And with that comes all the beatific names and dresses upon the soul. Everything is an immense reality that people can't even understand. Some people only want parts of it, I just want to be generous, I just want some mercy, I want this. But Allah has His own system. Allah's own system is achieve sabr, be from sabur when it dresses you, blesses you then all the names will follow you. They each have an angel attached to them. And each angel comes with that attribute and begin to enter into your soul to dress you from Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, and Ar Kareem. All of these names and attributes of Allah begin to dress the soul of that servant, especially with the key of Nabi Mustafa that make everything to be chosen and beatific. InshaAllah dress us, bless us with the immensity of this month opening mm -hmm. and to keep ourselves safe, our family and community safe mm -hmm. and that Allah dress us from the lights and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad mm -hmm. Bi Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Alika shafat ya Rasul Kareem <coughs>